What the hell is that in English? I don't know. Hey, what's going on, Charlie? Here? I'm Jean. Thanks for tuning in to Multicasting, you weirdo. I'm a weirdo. Yeah, truth, folks. You come here for the truth. <laughs> you stay for the whiskey. Whatever. Uh, today, we are going to be doing ourselves. All right, all right, all right. We're going to be doing a rye whiskey Ooh. today, uh, Gene Mowry. Uh, today, we are doing, we get the, it's kind of an awkward bottle to hold, I got to tell you. Hmm. I mean, maybe if you're a large person with large hands. Uh, Wartsford Reserve Distillers Select Kentucky Straight Rye Whiskey. Uh, this is a 45.2 ABV, 90.4 proof. If you're curious, uh, label batch 415, bottle 2187, 750 milliliters. Nice. <laughs> yep. but this so is, it's a regular uh, sized bottle. But it doesn't look like it. That's, that's true. That's true. Uh, this is a rye. We know it's at least a 51% rye. Do we know the mash bill on this, Gene? Yes, we do. I already told you. Uh, what was it? 53% rye, 33% corn, and 14% malted barley. That is a unique mash bill. Mm -hmm. uh, we picked this up at the distillery. Did we get this one at the, at the distillery? We I did. think so, okay. yeah. Got this at the distillery. Um, they're in they're in Barkstown, aren't they? I don't recall. I think they're in Barkstown. Anyway, we went on the Kentucky Bourbon Trail. We brought back bourbon. We did. From Kentucky. What'd you get on the nose there? Well, I just put it up to my nose. Jean Marie. But right away I got like uh, that sweet hay, <sighs> that sweet hay smell. I remember nosing this now and I got, I don't get any rye. I get the rye now. Some, Clove. Some pine. So not oak, but pine tree or fresh yeah. pine? Yeah, like fresh, fresh pine. You know, like that Christmas tree just got. Yeah, you, know. you had me at Christmas. <laughs> uh, I, I'm getting the rye notes. When we had corked this, I did not get any rye notes on the nose. I get the, the, the baking spices, touch of clove, anise, marmajam. Spearmint. Spearmint. Yep. It comes off, and that's one thing I worry about when we have low rye mash bills. It has to be 51 to be a rye, to be considered a straight rye. Um, but you don't always get the rye notes. Mm. Um, for age, we know it's a straight. It's at least four years. That's all I know for the age. If you know the age, throw it down in the comments below. Some earthiness. Hmm. I'm gonna have a good one. Some uh, lemongrass, maybe. Interesting. That is a sweeter palate than I remember. Mmm. Comes sweet. off like rye sugar water. Oh man, the peppers! Yay! I have zero peppers. Oh, how you got nose? Oh man. Which is why mm. you always go in for a second drink. Put you some peppers up in there. Mmm. Yeah, this this has all those rye flavors to me. It has the you know the uh, just a, a solid rye. You like it better than the neck pork? Mm-hmm. I'll do a dollar for you. Oh, you're so sweet. I'm a sweet feller. Hmm, yeah, it comes off like rye sugar water. Um, so I guess if you're making a rye bread in your kitchen and somehow the water gets in there, it's maybe. I, there's a heavy spearmint. Um, there is. For me. The, the lasting uh, finish is just um, very pleasant, refreshing. Refreshing, you say? Refreshing. I find all whiskeys to be refreshing. Well, I mean, like, because I feel like I maybe a little bit of scope. Oh, you know? I got you. Well, that's the scope of the thing. Your chair is creaky. Yes, I don't like it. I know you like being close to me, but you're encroaching a little bit. Quit moving my chair, man. You're right. I'm sorry for talking. All right. All right. All right, all right, all right. What did water do for you? Not really too much on the nose. It hasn't really didn't really bring anything out extra for me. Not heavy, but a touch of blueberry saltwater taffy. Huh. I'm getting a saltwater taffy. For some reason, the light blue color pops in my brain. Wrapped in the little white wax paper. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. It's a great use of wax paper, by the way. Mmm. Oh, about to drop my coins. Mm. 
creamier, made it a little bit more creamier. More pepper. More oak. More barrel char. Yeah. yeah I didn't get barrel char on this last time. Um, as a rye guy, I like to punch you in your face rise. That's right. Uh, this is more of a solid this handshake. Is subtle. Subtleness. Oh, there's no slap, face slapping. No. If you don't like a rye, but you love a bourbon, this might be the one for you. Um, oh, wow. That's like uh, jalapeno pepper on my tongue now. Interesting. Jalapeno pepper. Yep, that's what I got. I got the bad marker. Maybe here. some cheddar. Cheddar pepper? Cheddar jalapeno. I don't think there's such a thing, such a vegetable as a cheddar jalapeno. I'm sure, you could combine the two and make something. What'd you do, Gene? Oh, we're close. 87. Yep. I, I debated an 85 through an 87. <clears throat> I like the peppers. Pepper got me right there. Peppers, yep. As far as a rye goes, I do not like this as a rye. It, it it's has more of a bourbon for me. Uh, what the parts it's of the ryeness is the the spearmint. It's just like a it's heavy spearmint mm. for me with a touch of oak. I think you're I think you're better with your 86 than I am with my 87. And I gave it an 87 because if I, I if you're a bourbon person, you could go this. Somebody's like I don't really like rye. I love bourbon. I'm gonna give them this. Yeah. Especially yeah. if they like oak. Yeah, I agree. Mm. I agree. I agree. Anything to add, Jim? I do. Uh, do you want to know how much it was? Oh, yeah. How much do we pay for it? $25. Oh, then I like it even better. I like yeah. my score much better now. So, um, wow, really? Mm -hmm, $25. I thought it $50 range. No. Uh, so, yeah, wow. I, I think it's worth $25 for sure um, huh. when you're talking about a ride. Good job, so, Wilford. Um, yeah, I say it's worth it. Heck yeah, it's worth $25. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, wow, I did not, I have no memory of this costing $25. Yeah. Bucks. Cool. Um, anything to add, Gene? No, that's it. That's what I added. Go to uh, multicasking.com if you like the merch. Get yourself one Get for you your all drinking right, time. All right, all right, sure. Christmas is coming up, folks. You're gonna need. You're gonna need a, uh, what, a unique what to present. What's that hard to find person? Multicasking yeah, shirt. You got the ride guy. You got Matthew McConaughey over here. You got stuff. You got the. You got all sorts of stuff. Go to multicasking.com and you can check out some neat punny shirts. Punny. <laughs> double entendre. There's a new one you don't know about called the double entendre. I'll have to show that one to you. You don't know about it. I just did it today. Well, I obviously don't know about it. Mm -hmm. Boom. I'm now, Charlie. I'm Jean. And I hope you are just as thirsty as we are. Yep. Call it the double entendre.